Hi, I'm Eos from Bond, and it's great to see all the audience from Classic Odyssey. It's, that's always a very difficult question for us. Um, but we always seem to use the word eclectic, because it's, it, is, it is definitely eclectic. It's just, um, we just incorporate like styles we like, uh, but the, obviously the common ground is our instrumental sound. I think the biggest difference between the first album and the second album is that we had more of an involvement in the second album. So we were writing more and working with the producers on the kind of sound that we wanted um, just simply because we'd evolved together as a group for two years. Um, and also the producers that we used, we used um, five producers in this album, so there are a few more producers, um, but the producers that we used um, were really well, um, well they knew what they were doing in their own fields. So I guess in a way the second album is maybe better produced than the first album. It's a question we get asked very often, um, and I think we really, it's very difficult to find a definition for our music because it doesn't fall into a classical category and it doesn't really fall into a pop category either. Um, so I guess you could call it world music in that we take influences from all around the world, um, you know, but I think, I think it's such an eclectic mix rather than trying to define it, we see it as a positive thing that it actually can't be defined because it is something that's kind of new and that nobody else seems to be doing. Um, it was an interesting process really, it was a bit of a learning curve because um, both Gay and I had written on the previous album, but you know, just one track each, um, but we'd never tried really writing together as a group. Um, and we went into a studio and we thought, well, what's the best way to do it? So we'd all come up with different ideas. Um, but I think in the end what we realised was the best way to do it is one person would, say, come up with a tune and then people kind of do other things around it. And um, So in the end, probably the best way to do it is to have the kind of individuals writing or maybe groups of two, because otherwise it turns into a bit writing by committee and it takes a long time. <laughs> but, you know, we, I, we're happy with the results. Well, I think what we draw on are the types of music that we like and living the kind of life we do, travelling the world. Um, because we're an international kind of group and we don't have a language barrier, you know, we can travel everywhere from Colombia to Finland and, it, you know, our music can cross those cultural boundaries. Uh, and I think with this album we've drawn on ethnic influences simply because it's the kind of music we like. Um, we have an Indian, like, Bollywood influence track. There's a few tracks with an African influence or Asian influence. So I think that's what makes us quite unique. Well, what we do, tra we spend all our time travelling around the world and obviously we meet a lot of musicians along the way and, you know, we get given music um, we know we get to hear local music from different places. So obviously it all has an effect on us. Um, so yeah, so that, you know, that it does have a big influence on, on us. And the other, it's just everything we like really. <laughs> The cool thing about a Bond album is it, it's so diverse in musical styles that I guess um, my favourite track would be dependent on the mood that I'm in. Um, I feel, I guess, a personal affinity with the stuff that I wrote on my own just because um, I was really, really involved in that. So, um, yeah, some of the stuff on the album, like, say, for example, Sahara, um, is quite special to me, but I, I, I really like the album, which is quite good <laughs> to be proud of something, just because it's like it's a combination of all of us. So in a way, I, I quite like listening to it on my own. I, I kind of feel a bit embarrassed, though, like thinking, you know, 
lots of people have it in their living room, for example, but like it's nice to sort of switch it on once in a while, I think. Hey, yeah, because it brings back memories.